Oh yeah, you gotta say, I said, pas se pas son passé. You know, gotta respect that quoi la quoi. So already on week 11, it's definitely going down, you know what I'm saying? We got Dallas, we play them cowgirls. Let me give you the history on Dallas, because we played them on Thanksgiving, you feel me? And that is, they was founded off of cotton, cattle, and oil. They in, later on became uh, industrial and financial. By the way, on November 22nd, 1963, John F. Kennedy was assassinated. That was yesterday in Dallas. So I'm originally from Houston, and we don't like Dallas at all. So we got to whip them Dallas Calgary. We got to whip them. Man, we got to get them. I'm working extra hard. You know what I mean? I really feel confident about this win. Deshaun Jackson is definitely going to step it up. All right. Um, Allen Brooks uh, founded it in 1910. Uh, Allen Brooks was murdered and was accused of uh, uh, doing a harness crime to an individual in 1910, wrongly accused. And uh, he was uh, shot and killed on Maine and Hawkard. All right. So Dallas is not a very good city in Texas, you know what I mean? Like, Houston is a better metropolitan than Dallas is. Dallas is its own little Dallas, Fort Worth, Grand Prairie, whatever that bullshit is, I mean, crap, bull crap is. So we don't, you know, deal with Dallas at all. We say boo, boo to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I will reveal my game plan. But let's just say that, you know, we, we are in um, hard works and preparation. If you saw what defense did, I said in the beginning, I was working with defense. All right, so I'm working with offense as well. I got to get back situated on our grind. We got uh, two days coming up, you know what I mean? We got, what, today, today, tomorrow, and then Thursday. And then we got, that's week 11, and we play against Dallas, you know, the, known as D-Town, my man, there's so much more I could probably say at this point in time, but we need to stay focused, we need to stay together, all right, we got uh, no time to play around, we are trying to uh, get in the playoffs, that is the goal, that is our mission, Mr. Al Davis is in the building, you know, he does, he is aware of what's going on, and uh, quite frankly, we're going to get some things done this Thursday. I believe that Don, uh, Deshaun Jackson has uh, worked with Carr and gotten together with Carr, and uh, they have gone over some routes. Okay, I'm very impressed with defense as far as last week's game is concerned. I'm not even worried about the fourth quarter because if you ask me uh, if Carr would have stepped it up in the uh, first two or three quarters, uh, prior, like he did in, um, what, the previous two weeks ago uh, before the bye, uh, that is unacceptable. So defense was eventually tired, and that's just what happens when you overwork your defense. You cannot afford to overwork your defense. You have to show your defense a break and give your defense. Defense came out from the start, like, on point, like, from the get-go. Like, we gave you the opportunity to score and you didn't score they ended up having to kick a field goal like Gruden used to do when Gruden was there and you guys uh Josh Jacobs had dropped the pass and that which led to the field goal and the third uh in the third uh what is it the third uh the third down okay so you know you, you can't be you know doing those simple things like that defense held it like 3-3 three, three, and then it was 7-3 and then you turned around and did uh, three zero, and then it was turn around and did um, nineteen. What they scored like two touchdowns in the fourth quarter, and it was still like what seven. I mean, like you guys got to step it up on offense. You got to do a lot more. I know Deshaun Jackson. You got big shoes to fill with rugs. Uh, uh, with rugs, rugs contributed a lot. He did a lot for the team, and um, I'm working with that situation as we speak. So that, you know, uh, on my end, on, you know, myst mystical, magical end, to make sure that, you know, the energy is, is there with the team. You guys have to blend together. I'm referred to as this as the Mighty Ducks, you know, but 
you guys have to work together. You guys have to uh, pull pull this through and, you know, make him feel accepted. And also you have to learn the culture of the Raiders. You know what I mean? We have a certain culture here and uh, we have a certain identity and a certain commitment to excellence that we expect each and every individual uh, in this organization to have. And if you're in this organization, you don't have that certain morale, character, or value within this organization, you will not continue to be in this organization. I don't care who you are from GM, coach, uh, player, you know, these are all positions that can be replaced, but we prefer to have a family, a tight-knit community, a tight-knit culture with just win and a commitment to excellence and this achievement, a commitment to excellence. And this is what we're not keeping in mind. We are being distracted. I know there was a lot going on, but we definitely have to pull this stuff together so that we can continue to at least make the playoffs and we you know, strive for a better. This is what happens when you have to choose wisely your draft picks. Okay, It goes with having morale, characters, and value, as well as talent. Okay, and uh, all, all, all of that is a, a hard combination in itself to uh, a hard combination in itself to uh, to see. You know, you you have to. Uh, what's today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. You have to uh, focus. Okay, you have to pay attention and remember your routes. Okay, learn these routes. It's very important. Get with car. I know you are. Continue to get with car. Okay, we, we gotta get this. We gotta get this, these wheels going, and uh, and and we got to improve and get synchronized and move down the chain like y'all do. Stop hating on car, man. When he do good, y'all be like, hey, car. When he do bad, he be like, boo, car, man. Stop hating on car. Car is doing the best and all that he can do. I have a hundred percent confidence in car. And we're gonna we're gonna keep this together. It's a lot this year. All we can hope for is to, is to make the playoffs and to finish like champions, cause that's what that's what it is. In the words of Rudy T, you know what I'm saying. Coming from that H town, never underestimate the heart of a champion. That's why Mr. Al Davis brought me here, so that we can continue to win games. Just win, baby. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Week 11, boo the cowgirls right here on the Magical Magician, baby.